All right, so today's sketchbook is from Davis, California, December 2018 to June 2019. All of these were painted on location from life, plain air. And uh, this one, really great way to start off the sketchbook, really got the nice darks in there and uh, some cool looking reflections, really cool harmony, these kind of golden trees with a little bit of purpley gray, uh, other trees in the background and stuff. Just a really beautiful harmony at the beginning of December here. That's probably one of my favorites in the sketchbook. And uh, this was about a week or two later at a different location. And I really see the green California grass coming in here for the winter. Uh, normally in the winter, this or in the summer, rest of the year, usually like nine months out of the year, all this grass is just yellow and pale. And uh, in the winter, get this really great green when there's a lot of moisture. But uh, beautiful light here I was able to capture. Really got lucky with uh, something like this. Pretty darn cool, man. I uh, love, love the suggestion of trees and overall uh, the light effect, the color harmony, the shadow colors, everything. Really cool, man. And I vlogged every one of these experiences. So you can go watch my Plain Air Adventure series and uh, each one of these paintings is, a, is an episode. You can go see uh, where I painted these and how they came about. This is a similar location to the last painting, but this is on an overcast day. This is the next day. And uh, same pathway here, looking down a different way, some different trees and stuff. And there's that green grass again. Really reminds me of being in England when I visited England. So pretty cool. It's, it's really cool, all the different color harmonies you can really uh, see out in nature and paint. And especially something like this, it's so gray and purple really makes for an interesting painting because it's not that colorful, um, but it's pretty cool. I was able to capture this goose from life. This was super challenging because the goose was eating at this time and it kept uh, popping under the water and coming back up and I had to really just uh, focus on the drawing aspect. And once I got the drawing down, I was able to paint it um, and just use the colors that I was seeing from real life. But this one came out pretty darn well, man. I'm actually happy with how I got the ripples and the whole water and light effect. Um, yeah, pretty surprising how well that came out. And uh, this is, uh, so we went from December to May. I didn't paint all winter, unfortunately. It's really hard to do plain air in the winter because it rains a lot here. It gets cold outside. It's just not, it, watercolor would take forever to dry, if ever. It's just really difficult. And this was one of the first, very first one I did. Um, after taking a long break and didn't come out that well. Very challenging. This is a bridge in Sacramento, very iconic golden bridge. And, uh, you know, not the, not, not the greatest work. There's a Sacramento river here. And this is about a month later in June. I went out with a painting buddy, I believe. We did some plein air together and this is up in, uh, highway 88 some trees and some mountains here, really cool color harmony, kind of chaotic and stuff, but just capturing what was out there. And I think I did this paint, uh, the last painting, this painting and the next painting are all on the same day. So three paintings in one day, it was pretty challenging. Uh, this is completely backlit. It was, it was about noon and the light was just awful. It was just horrible light to paint in, but I decided to go with it anyway. We were out there, we were painting, so captured what I could but a really old looking tree here, but not my best work. Same with this one, not the greatest, you know, it's trying to fit everything in there, get the sky, the mountains, a little bit of a lake down here, some snow still on the mountains in June and these trees in the foreground, you know, really challenging. Um, overall, it's not too bad. I think I captured the harmony of what was out there. It's very distant, so everything's kind of grayed down. Um, but yeah, it was, I mean, definitely, definitely epic, uh, scenery probably would have been better as a horizontal, but too late now. And, uh, this was a tree in the morning in my neighborhood. I was trying to capture this, this light coming across this tree and, uh, yeah, don't know that I did it too well. I mean, it's not awful, but it's not like the greatest painting ever. It's more of just kind of a study of light versus shadow. Um, you know, a lot of browns and stuff, not the, not like a painting I'd hang on the wall or anything. 
This one was all about the light effect for the most part, trying to get this warmth versus these cooler shadows, a lot of reflected light in here in the shadows and then these dark areas. Um, some of this kind of reminds me of like a Sargent painting, you know, just the way he always did these really warm, rich darks. And uh, some of this right here just kind of reminds me of that. Not saying I'm anywhere near a Sargent, but you know, some of this, uh, I study a lot of his watercolors and work, so I could see how that could come through in my paintings. Um, yeah, this was pretty cool, man. It was, it was just someone's house. It had a really nice uh, uh, color to it. It was evening, light coming in, so I wanted to capture it, and that's what happened. So just um, sat down on the sidewalk and painted someone's house. So uh, This was during the summer. This is mid-June, and I was so fed up with everything being green already. I wanted like autumn colors. I wanted some yellows and reds. I was definitely far away from that. So I ended up uh, I walked around the neighborhood forever and I decided, okay, I'm just going to paint all the greens and I'll just document what's out here, all these greens. And funny enough, this ended up being one of my favorite paintings in this whole sketchbook. Uh, even though it was something I resisted for so many days, I was like, I don't want to paint anything green anymore. So I did and uh, it came out really well. So sometimes that's how it goes. Another favorites here, my sketchbook. This one has a real interesting story. So this is on Highway 88 once again, uh, the day after the last painting. Went up with a painting buddy again. We went to that same highway, really scenic highway in the Sierra Nevadas. And uh, there's mountains up here. This is like an alpine lake, little island with trees on it. And I actually set up facing away from the subject. So I was not looking at the subject while I painted this. I was facing away from it and I would turn around and glance at the subject and uh, paint by remembering what I saw. So I kept turning around and glancing behind, over my shoulder to see the subject and then I would mix up the color and paint it. And I was able to really simplify the mountains back here. You can see it's a very strong, just strong brush strokes. And, um, you know, same with these trees, able to simplify, get some interesting colors, and uh, really cool method, really cool method. I should try it more often, actually, because it helps you kind of detach from what you're looking at a little bit so that you don't end up painting exactly what you see and trying to get every little detail. Uh, same day as the last painting, and so is the next painting, same day, up in Highway 88. And this was just a little meadow with some water coming across. Uh, there was kind of this trail going across into these hills and just tried to make something out of it. It was very difficult. There wasn't much out there to paint. Um, so I just went with that. It came out pretty cool, you know. And uh, the final one of that day was this mountain in uh, Kirkwood on Highway 88. It's a really scenic area. And uh, it came out really beautiful, man. Really cool composition. And... Uh, yeah, really simplified, really tried to simplify, you know, these trees, stuff on the mountains, these rock shadows. That's something I really struggle with. You can see it's a little, a little messy here, kind of overpainted a little too much, but it was me figuring it out. I think overall I got like a, it's definitely a, a shadow effect on the, on these rocks and stuff, a light versus shadow effect. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, some warm light versus these cooler shadows. Came out pretty well, I'm, I'm happy with it. And the last one here, finally got some color. So this is near UC Davis. There's the, one of the water towers at UC Davis, pretty iconic. Some of the dorm buildings and stuff uh, near the college here in Davis, California, where I used to live. And uh, these are some roses. These They have the whole field of these roses they were growing. I'm not sure why, but a uh, bunch of wildflowers and roses. So I was like, okay, I'll capture that man it was really colorful so um that was definitely really cool good way to end the sketchbook overall pretty happy with how the sketchbook turned out hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little tour and uh, be sure to check out my plain air adventure series to see all of the vlogs of me painting these so thanks for watching take care of yourself peace my friends